Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. In this video, I am going to share on how we can practice mindfulness in our daily activities. So friends, a very very important thing to note here is that the Buddha's teaching uh, uh, on Satipatthana Sutra, the four foundations of mindfulness, which he said that is the direct path of liberation to all beings. He never said that uh, in that discourse is that um, you only do your uh, mindfulness only while meditating or only while sitting, right? That mindfulness has to be practiced entire day, right? Now sitting when you do it, it is easier, right? Because you are dedicatedly doing this work. But as much as possible, we have to also try to bring mindfulness in our daily activities. Whatever we do, we have to do it with mindfulness. So how to do it? See, my learning, whatever I have learned and what I practice is in the insight meditation tradition of Mahasi Saidao. Mahasi Saidao was a great uh, Burmese monk who revitalized the Vipassana movement. So my teachings are based on uh, his uh, instructions on Satipatthana Vipassana. And uh, the, now the detailed book, if you want to read, it is available. It's a free ebook that is available. Uh, you can go in the link and uh, you can download the free ebook. Uh, uh, another way is if you want to, uh, if you prefer listening, then there is an audio book by Audio Buddha on the Satipatthana Vipassana. So you can get the detailed instructions of Mahasi Sadao on how to practice mindfulness in various uh, 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 activities like sitting, walking, everything, right? So that you can refer. So on my channel, there is a full playlist of insight meditation where you can find the, you know, all the things about uh, this method and uh, various videos I have made like mindfulness of walking, mindfulness of uh, uh, sense, sense actions, mindfulness of like this video that I am making, right? So all these uh, short short videos will be available. So you can check that. So before moving forward, just a few ground rules. I have just made a list of points so that I do not miss any point. Okay, so a few ground rules first is as we discussed, what Mahasi's method is. Mahasi's method is noting, noting, recognizing each and every movement either in the mind or in the body. How it happens is either there is a movement in the mind, the intention, thinking, feeling, all these things arise or movement in the body. So first there is a movement in the mind and then there is a movement in the body. So we have to keep on noting whatever movements are happening in our mind and body, right? So, whatever internal and external phenomena that, that, that generate, so you have to just note them, right? So, if you are sitting, you have to note just as sitting, sitting. You don't need to verbalize, just note it. Like, I am raising my hand, I just note it as raising, raising. I am lying down, I am putting my hand down, it's like down, down, right? So, it's like, we have to just note the movement, any movement, what, and to the extent possible, right? Okay, now, do to the extent possible, now, what Mahasi's, uh, 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 the instructions were like the best way to practice it is in a retreat like environment Why, right? for example if you are like a 30 day or 60 day retreat where you know you are just going to do that only right so apart from the sitting meditation practice you you know uh, you are eating food or you doing your walking so you can be very slow but in the normal life we cannot be like that so to the extent possible you can do do it's not like you have to do it 100% but even if you like doing 10% in your daily life, it will, you are building up that reserve of mindfulness in you, right? So don't feel bad if it doesn't happen, right? Now, as your concentration rises, then you, you will be able to note many movements. So first, you will be able to note only one movement, like I'm walking, rocking, walking, walking, walking. And then you will be able to even note left step, right step. And then as you practice further, you can even be note the placing of the, the, the rising of the foot, the moving of the foot, the placing of the foot. So it comes with gradual practice, right? So we have to start somewhere. So just be mindful of whatever movement are happening, either in the body or in the mind. Just note that. What is the aim? Why we are doing this? We are doing this to get free from suffering, right? So that's why I always say is that mindfulness is not something like, you know, uh, it is made to be a kind of a general wellness solution because it appeals to a lot of people. But mindfulness, the purpose of mindfulness is to get free from suffering, which is the, the entire question why Buddha liberated, why Buddha went in search of, you know, enlightenment and he got enlightened and he realized that, you know, after he got enlightened, he realized that we need to have the insight that there is no permanent self. Generally, when, we are, when I'm mindless, I am having this permanent self that I am angry, I am greedy, 
i am uh, you know having this uh, desire in me this, this like i do it with an i right now we have to break down this i and you know into small 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 movements and then when we realize the the three marks of existence everything is impermanent there is no perf- uh, Im- uh, permanent self and everything this whole arising and falling is suffering so when i realize that i get wisdom and i, I get insight this insight is basically giving me wisdom right onto the three marks of existence and then this then i get free so that's the path that buddha has given right okay so uh, now one more thing is that the more you slow down in your daily activities right one is that we rush into right so wherever we have to rush we have to rush no problem but if we can just a bit slow down in our eating in our walking right in our talking if we slow down then it becomes easier and easier to practice uh, 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 mindfulness now what we have to do is that we have to note one distinct moment movement at a time one distinct thing right so there may be like three things that are happening for example you are sitting you are thinking also you are sit you sitting also right and there is also some pain in the body so whatever is the one most clearly distinct thing you have to note that so if thinking is the most clearly distinct thing that is right now happening you note it as thinking thinking now if you are confused about whether it's th- uh, what is the most uh, distinct thing uh, is it thinking or sitting or itching just note it as confused confused the confused state of mind note your state of mind as confused confused the moment you note it the it gets vanished the the confusion gets vanished now one more thing is that if during the daily activities if you don't have anything at one point if you have don't if you don't have anything else to note come back to the rise and follow the abdomen right that is always happening if till the time we are breathing till the time we are alive our abdomen rises when we breathe in and our abdomen falls when we breathe out so the rising and falling of the abdomen is always there so you can come back to that that's like our refuge right that's our safe place right and in my very very difficult time as i said up in 2021 uh, i was like near near depression you know otherwise some, someone else would have even thought of committing suicide this is this was my safe refuge coming back to my abdomen and focusing on the in and out breath right okay so now we come to the activities right so what so this is basically all from the learnings from that book satyapadana vipassana the link is there in the description you can read that book to get a complete insight best i will suggest take a print out of that book right i think it's 40 50 pages take a back to back print out and read it word by word right okay so sitting down so masi says that when when you sit down first there is an int- when you are walking or when you are standing and you want to sit down first there is this intention in the mind that comes about wanting to sit right maybe you are feeling tired right so you can note it as tired tired or wanting wanting and then when you move you just note it as moving moving and when you sit you can just note it as you know lying you know sitting 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 and when you sit you can again note it as sitting sitting the entire body which is the entire frame of the body which is sitting you can note it as sitting sitting right so that you can note and then once you are sitting you can keep on noticing sitting sitting or you can note on the rise and fall of the abdomen or if any other sensation or anything that starts to arise you can note this is our meditation right so you can note that now once you are sitting then again so what mahasi says is what mahasi teaches is that sitting is basically a play again everything is a play of elements so sitting involves a play of the air element that means it's like a, a, a rubber doll which has been inflated you know lot of air is is put in that rubber doll and that it's it is erect similarly we are erect because the air element is constantly being you know pushed into us and then that's why we are here. so like i am working for 12 hours a day and uh, i am you know doing my talking everything you know it's and then there is you know in later in the evening i am you know i feel drowsy what happens is the supply of the air element that has kept me awake has now been cut off and so the drowsiness comes in right and then i lie down so this is how the play of elements happen there is no i there there is no abhinav there is this just the play that happens so we are just i think we are just puppets of that play that is happening in this creation don't think so when we practice like this we realize that everything is a play 
and everything is impermanent so why do i get attached with anything it's just things are happening arising and falling right okay so right so you can either do sitting sitting or you can also uh, just you can pay attention to your hips touching the chair right you can also be uh, uh, pay attention to that right or rise and fall of the abdomen is the best when you are sitting rise and fall of the abdomen just be aware do not change the movement of the you know breathing do not change the breathing just be aware when you breathe in abdomen rises when you breathe out abdomen falls so that is sitting now when you want to get up so getting up again when you are sitting for some time and you want to get up note it at want, wanting to get up right w wanting wanting then this whole movement of the body to get up getting up getting up then when you got up you may want to get want to walk so wanting wanting then walking walking even there when you are do, doing the walking you can uh, bring your attention to the left step right step or if you are walking quickly you can just notice as walking walking right so uh, you there is a detailed video i have done on mindfulness of walking there you can get detail into how exactly you know you have to do mindfulness of walking so that contains much more in detail so i will not talk it about here you can uh, listen there then lying down okay for example you have worked for like 10, 12 hours in a day now you feel like tired and lying down so you can note it as tired tired wanting to lie down wanting to lie down just wanting wanting just note it mentally as wanting wanting when you are lying down just note your movement of the body as you lie down right as you lie down just note the movement of the body now when you are lie down just if you make any movements of your body just note the movements of the body right so there is a story about uh, ananda the closest disciple of buddha he how he got enlightened is uh, there is a beautiful story i'll cover it another video and he in the process of lying down he got enlightened so mahasi says very important thing is that don't even don't think that you know all these small small acts are like trivial right there is no triviality if you are mindful even the small acts enlightenment can happen any moment so for ananda it was you know he when he was just lying down he was like lying down that there and then he got enlightened so that is the importance of you know the constant practice of mindfulness without breaking i'll make please check my separate video on um, uh, ananda story of enlightenment so i will cover that in detail there now when sleep so when you are going to sleep just note it as first of all there is this sleepiness that comes note it as sleepy sleepy you can also note it as your head touching the pillow or your body touching the you know the the bed the eyelids getting heavy uh, eyelids getting heavy note each and everything so what mahasi says is that a true meditator who wants to you know achieve liberation is even prepared to spend various sleepless nights right because what happens is there is one thing about the sleepiness the energy of sleepiness that is there and one is the energy of concentration that is there that you have developed over time right so if whatever wins according to that will happen if your energy of concentration is very high even if you are feeling sleepy you will again become fresh you will note it as fresh fresh and you will keep on keep on keep on noting but if the energy of sleep wins then you will go to sleep so nothing bad in going to sleep but there also may be a possibility that you might be awake for some time and you know what i will say if you don't if you don't go to sleep that well if you you know a lot of people face this problem they can't sleep well just follow this practice of noting each and every movement of your body of your eyelids of your intention thoughts and you know when you do that automatically you don't even know how you'll go into sleep and then when you go into sleep that is the, there is where the body does the healing work the internal healing work is done and there we cannot be conscious right maybe in a very very advanced stage even in sleep a person can be conscious but not us right so we have to just ensure that the moment from lying down the intention of lying down that comes to the moment that we actually sleep we need to be mindful of each and everything i do did this practice i didn't even know in 2021 when i was facing very di difficult time i couldn't sleep at night i instinctively practiced this i was not even aware about insight meditation and all these things i instinctively was just aware of each and every sensation in the body so what lot of times what happens is these practices that we do we have maybe learned these practices in our past lives and all these impressions we carry and you know 
we carry as a kind of a reserve and when there is a need then you know that knowledge comes up right so so you can do that sleeping waking up okay you have slept now you are waking up recognize first this intention so you've just wake up your eyes have you know uh, uh, have woken up you recognize this intention to wake up sub, most importantly right then slowly as you as you rise just slowly recognize the, this note the you know rising rising sitting sitting so you rise from your bed then you sit for some time 2 3 minutes and then you walk towards your bathroom or whatever right so in walking walking right so you can note this this actually can make your home a meditation place right so if you have, don't have some very small kids uh, you know and you know uh, its life is fairly peaceful for you then you can even make your home your daily your day as a meditation retreat in your own home right uh, so by this following this practice okay uh, urinating defecating now now see the the kind of a beauty of this practice even the process of urinating and defecating can is actually a practice right so when you urinate you just know the urination if defecate you know the process the, the process of defecation right the individual movements of various body parts that happen now what happens is in urination why urination happens the water element becomes active so the urination happens in defecation the air element becomes active then we are able to defecate right so all these things we need to be uh, aware right as much as possible then washing the face or taking a bath so again when you do that you can just as you are stretching your hand you are just taking the water in your uh, hands then you are splashing it on your face you can just note as much as possible each and every small movement right so initially what will happen you will just note it as brushing brushing right that's fine but as your meditation practice becomes precise you will be even be able to know the rising the the falling of the hand all these things so it will take with its time right okay uh, then if you you can just uh, washing your face rubbing uh, uh, you know uh, or when you are uh, 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 when you are bathing and bathing is a very difficult thing for me you know i can practice mindfulness everywhere but in bathing something happens and my mind for that maybe 10 minutes that i take for having a bath it goes into making plans and you know um, uh, which topic i'll make a video on and all these things you know or some other problem i don't know why it happens to me or i don't know if it happens to other people but bathing is a way is a is an activity for me it's very difficult so you know if you if you are using a bucket you know bending bending down taking the water in the bucket and using it and the sensations of the water on the body all that you can be mindful note the individual activity whatever is the clearly distinct most clearly distinct you can note then a uh, meal now when uh, the meal comes to you now we rush we rush in the having the meal what we can do is we can just be aware of this meal first of all it's in front of us looking looking seeing seeing right and then you are just you know taking the roti or whatever bread and then you can just note the hand movement right then chewing 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 swallowing swallowing then going going down going down digesting digesting right all these movements you can note down then liking liking disliking disliking right so if you have food cravings so i have food cravings right and i have to the extent i have come out of it but still i uh, you know food is something that you know uh, i have the likes and dislikes on food which is not a good thing we have to get over these likes and dislikes so if if the food is good if mind says good food good food so liking liking pleasant sense pleasant pleasant food is bad suppose the 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 sabzi that you have got the vegetables that you have got are not to your liking so not liking not liking that also the minds state of mind we have to note or the feelings that arise in the mind so this is it uh, it's a 19 minute video uh, there are many many activities like changing clothes opening door closing door switching the light on and off everything we need to be mindful so i hope this video was useful you got some in insights on how to practice uh, uh, mindfulness in your daily activities uh, uh, do please share your thoughts comments your reflections your learning right we are all on the same path so whatever you feel please do share uh, thank you so much for watching namo buddhaya namo buddhaya